Hey guys, what's up? This is Cody here. So today we are going to be learning how to make a simple beat in Logic Express 9. This also works with Logic Pro 9 or Logic Pro X or whatever music, well, Logic uh, software you have. So let's get right into it. So I have Logic open right now. So, all right, this, this is a random song I'm doing. So right now what we are going to do, um, Let's just not save that because I didn't make any changes. Let's create a new song. All right, and we're gonna want to uh, uh, choose Empty Project, and you're gonna want to start off with Software Instrument. Okay. All right, so now it's gonna say Inst One, whatever that says. So it's gonna say Instrument One, and what you're gonna want to do is go up to Media, if you don't know. So go to Media and then go to library and then you have these you have all these selections of instruments you can use so you have synthesizers keyboards drums etc so what you can do so what we're gonna do is we are going to click on the drums and percussion tab and then we're going to go into um, ultra ultra beat drum kits alright so if you want, you can pause this video and just play around with all the drum beats. Oh, and by the way, um, to display the keyboard in order for you to play the actual instrument, just press the caps lock key. So, if you press the caps lock key, this should come up. Um, if it doesn't, then check your settings in the preferences of Logic Express. Um, if the transparency is all the way down, there's a little um, adjustment bar or adjustment knob all the way on the top right hand corner of the keyboard so just bring that all the way up to see it so what we're going to do is we're going to find a beat and you can follow along with me or you can try with a different beat it's up to you so what we're going to do is we're going to find a beat and we're going to create one using a, probably a few layers so let's get started okay so let's just all right that sounds pretty cool Analog Techno. So you got all these things. Let's use the Big Beat Remix Kit. Alright. So, what I usually do is I actually usually just straight on record. So if you have a beat like this, like something like that, or just a, re a simple beat, you can do that. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to create just a simple beat, uh, one measure with the four uh, four beats in it so this is what it is going to look like right here all right and it doesn't have to be perfect when you do this so because you can quantitize these beats so what we're going to do if if you did this or you did a different type of beat um, that is fine but just be aware that what I am doing might not directly apply to what you are doing so what we're going to do is we're going to double click on the big beat or you can click on it once but double clicking it brings up this lower um, menu so but we're not going to be clicking on this we're going to go to the top uh, left corner under big beat uh, remix kit it's near the effects tab so when you double click this go to quantize right where my mouse is click that and click one eighth note or you can click one six note, but I don't think that's really no. Don't click one six note. Click one eighth note. So when you click one eighth note, now your beats are perfectly in sync. So, for example, they sound perfectly even. So it puts some the beats into every one eighth note. So that works very well. So if you want to extend the beat, you can loop it. So if you go on to the if you hover your mouse over the end of the um, beat measure, it should show a little uh, curve sign all right, on your mouse. So uh, just click that and drag until you can loop it as many times as you want. And to get, let's say, your, your uh, cursor is over here, your little measurement line thing is here. If you want to go back to the start, you don't have to drag it all the way back. You can just simply press Enter and it brings you back to when start. So that's cool. So this is what it sounds like. Okay, you get the point. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add another instrument. 
And what this little button does is this duplicates it. So this duplicates the settings. Whatever, okay, so whatever settings you have on here, it will completely duplicate that. But what we're going to do is we're going to add a new instrument. So software instrument, create. And we're going to choose a different instrument in the in all the selections. So let's go find one. Let's find another one, like a snare. Let's see. All right, let's use this. Okay, so I'm in. I'm on the classic hip hop remix, and it's not too far down from the big beat remix kit. So, if you want, you can click that. So, what we're going to do is um, record another uh, beat. Sorry if that's loud. I apologize. So, what we're gonna do is you can create your own beat. You don't have to follow mine. So, let's try right now. All right, so that was simply, it sounded kind of off tune if you can hear. But as I said, you can quantitize this. So let's just click it once and you go up here where my mouse is. If you can see that classic hip hop remix, click the drop down arrow and then uh, go to quantitize. And you can go to one eighth note again. I typically like one eighth note because it fits a lot of the beat measures I do. So let's hear that. And right there, for example, it changes the note completely because I clicked one eighth. But if I want, I don't want that. So let's go down to one sixteenth note. And choosing a higher, a higher um, number, like makes your um, be a little more accurate as you want. So let's hear it now. All right, that's qu quite not what I want. Still, let's go to one twelfth note. So I'm not directly sure how this necessarily works, but you can just play around with it and see um, what happens. That completely sounds wrong. So what I'm going to do is, hold on, let's try this. All right, so that doesn't sound right either. So what I do, if they don't sound right, I double click this. And as I explained earlier, this thing down here popped up. So you can drag this up and down and make it easier for you to see. And you can um, hover over these togglers and just uh, adjust them so that it's easier for you to see. So let's do this. All right, so as you can see, you can see the notes perfectly here. All right, and so I want the note to hit right where this line starts. But to do that, you simply cl simply simply click the note and just drag. It's very simple. So now it sounds like. But this one's still off note. So let's click that and just drag. It's very simple. Once you get used to it, it's fast. And if you want to make the note longer, see how my mouse uh, turns that shape. You click that and you drag. If you can make the note a bit longer, so it helps. Let's try this. And this one's perfectly in sync. So there we go. It this literally took me took me 30 seconds, and I already got the beat I want. And you can loop it if you want. So now it sounds like this. And obviously that'll go on for as long as you want. But um, let's add one more interesting instrument to make this um, beat more interesting and fun to listen to. So, let's choose another beat. So I'm clicking the T, the, the T, Y, and U keys, and those are the typical keys that are the typical beats that are played that play these type of keys. If you can hear them, I'm gonna click. I'm gonna click. I'm gonna use this one. So this is the classic dub kit, 01. So. Let's use this one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing this. Something like that. All right. And as you see, I messed up completely there. And if you want to undo that, click Command Z. We're going to edit undo. So let's try that again. All right. So that's good enough for me. 
I only go like halfway because it is way too long and way too difficult to do a whole um, measure right there. Well, so we're going to go to quantize once again and we're going to go into and I'm going to click one eighth note. See how that sounds. All right. So that's not what I'm looking for. Let's try one sixteenth. That sounds perfect. So there we go. So what I'm going to do to to extend that and to trim this Let's zoom in here, hold on. Okay, so to extend this, we are going to want to trim this, obviously. So what you do is you go to the end of that um, bar right here and click and just simply drag back or forth, but we're gonna trim it. So I'm going to click back. And what I wanna do is I wanna add an extra note. If you go a little, um, if you don't hit another note and you're only left with this amount, it's simple to add another note so what we're going to do is we're simply just going to click a note or you can highlight all the notes by just simply clicking and dragging on this area so make sure your um, this line is matched up with another uh, measure right here so I'm going to click drag or just simply click command C for copy and command V for paste and I simply have another beat right there so now I'm going to take this I'm going to drag it back. There we go. And now I'm going to loop this. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, there we go. I I went back a little too far, so you'll know that if the line doesn't match up with this. So let's click this and loop it. And now it should sound like this. And there you go. So that is how you make a beat. A beat. On logic um, I mean it's it's may seem really complicated at first but once you get the hang of it you start to do this really fast so I thank you for watching this um, I hope you learned something um, like this video comment subscribe rate whatever um, so thank you guys for watching and see you later